Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am back with the best of craft fair series episode number 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Can you believe that we have completed 10 easy, inexpensive, fun, fast, almost free, dang near free crafts for the fair, bazaar, teacher, co-workers, neighbors, friends, family, stocking stuffer, all of that. If you haven't checked out the other nine videos, please do so. I will put the description box. Nope, I'm not going to put the description box. I'm going to put the video in the description box down below. So this is going to be a super easy craft and it's so pretty to look at. Like these colors are so striking to me and they just read Christmas. They just read pick me pick me they sparkle they glitter they shine they dazzle and I love it so guess what it is this is almost another free craft look how super cute these are that's so cute they are pillow boxes super easy super fun and you know what other thing that I did to them to step it up a little bit they are embossed I know there's a shadow in here it's dark it's nighttime but that's when I craft but um so look at that they're all embossed i'm going to show you guys the items that i use and um you will not believe how inexpensive this is how fast this goes i created so many of these and I'm like wait wait a minute i made too many i'm running out of bowls which is exactly what i did i got down to my last bowl and I'm like wait stop halt i have to do a video because <laughs> i'm out of bowls and i'm not going back to the walmart right now so i have to do the video so i'm stopping and I'm going to do, um, the rest is going to be on a video. So, anyway, these are so cute. These will make a great, they make a great, um, you can put a gift card in here. Um, you can put cute little uh, stocking things in here, stocking stuffers, you know, things you can put nail polish or um, lip balm or whatever. They can put tissue paper in there. It's empty. Of course, you can tell them. You can put tissue paper in here yourself or wrapping paper in here yourself and sell that, you know, have that as a selling point. But they're so easy and fun to make, guys. And they sparkle and they dazzle. And I love them. So, um, this is how they look. Really cute. I kept them, um, simple. I went with a plan and then I have some of them in, you know, some of them have, uh, different kind of designs on them so they can just look a little vary a little bit but they don't stray too far from the original design you know some of them are, are the um, vertical so they have to go that way and you know some are wrapped around the box a little bit just to give it a little fun extra little flair um, really really fun stuff here's one down here this kind of wraps on the side really really cute this one goes down this way so it's not too much more that you can really do and I made them assembly line style so because I want it to go really fast like I said so I'm gonna put these away and I'm gonna show you the items that I used how little money I spent to create this craft and how happy you are gonna be to make these on your own so um, let's craft let's have some fun and I will be right back so what you will need are the following i am using the sizzix alterations pillow box die you can use if you have a cut die cutting machine um like a, a silhouette cameo or cricket or something you can use that if you don't have either of those there are plenty 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 of free pillow box templates i will link a couple down below so you guys can find that and you can print that off and uh, I think the cutting cafe may have one too so if you want to do that that way I will link some down below so you guys can get it pillow box template and print it off cut it by hand and you can just cut these by hand and trace them and cut them and be on your merry way it'll take a little longer but you will still get the job done easy peasy shape to cut out but again this is a pillow box it's very old um, but it will work perfectly 
for this type of craft. You can use a gift card box if you have one. It doesn't have to be a pillow box. Anything will work to do the gift card gift card holder. If you have like a treat box or something that you can you can cut out a die that makes a treat box, that'll work too. Any kind of small little boxes you can make in assembly style, this will work to fill in for. So I'm just using a pillow box because this is what I have and I love I love it. It's really really cute. So that's that. But be sure to check the uh, links in the description box. I'm also using a Doris uh, embossing folder, and I'm using the dots. I had a whole bunch of fo uh, folders that I wanted to use, but when I'm going, I don't want to keep switching. Like I'm, you know, I just want to go, go, go. And plus, the dots looked perfect, so I didn't want to mess that up. So they rolled right through my machine with ease but i wanted to add some texture instead of just using plain cardstock i'm using 110 pound weight uh white cardstock so i wanted to have some texture on it so i just chose to use one folder embossing folder run it all the way through i know this is the stripes but i wanted to show you the name of the brand but um i wanted to add some texture to my project all right here is the piece the resistance now i have here we go i know i had something else down here I went to the Walmart and I saw these tags and I must have stood in that line like 10 minutes in the aisle like 10 minutes like I need these tags but I don't know what I'm going to use them for but I need them in my life because they are so pretty. So I bought them. This is what they are. Now you don't have they were $1.97. I took the topper off. I don't know what I did with it but you got 36 of these tags for $1.97. 36. You get three sheets of 12 of these gorgeous tags for $1.97 now you can they also have really pretty tags at the Dollar Tree that you get plenty of um, that you can do the same thing for it will work just the same I just love the fact that I was using white cardstock and this red and silver and glitter popped see some of this frost this is raised it's glitter I, I just thought it was looking perfect on those plain white pillow boxes so it was like oh that's cute so you get three of these sheets and like I said a dollar ninety seven cents I picked up two of these ten tiny bowls they were ninety seven cents you got ten in here I got ten I don't know why I didn't do the math right because I should have gotten three since I was getting thirty six or four even um, but I didn't want to make that many pillow boxes you know but um, I'm gonna get one more um, because I want to use a little bit more of these sheets so I'm gonna get one more of these I think they'll go I think they'll go well and then I purchased uh, this curling ribbon you can get it at the Dollar Tree too but it was right there they had this in silver gold a lot of colors this was 97 cents my plan is to sell those pillow boxes for two dollars I've seen the bigger ones at craft fairs for five dollars um, but and I sold them before at the last craft fair and I used a gold paper and they all sold and I can't remember how much I sold those for um right now i can't remember but they all are gone so um but i'm selling these i think two dollars two two fifty will work so we're gonna make one of course i've already done um i've already die cut it out and i ran it through i hope you guys can see let me try to get a shade i've already run it through the embossing folder so we're gonna make one right now you'll just need some scissors some hot glue really easy a piece of white car sock is what I use to um, so the sticker isn't sticky on the back because I mounted it up on some pop dot so all you're gonna do is when you get your um, pillow box all cut out you're gonna follow where the parameters are where you're supposed to fold it over you guys know how to put a pillow box together this is the easiest craft that you're gonna make I keep saying that the most the cheapest I'm just gonna add some hot glue over here off to the side to the strip and I'll show you guys I just added a little bit of hot glue closed it up and I just made sure that I stayed um, so the line is straight okay and then I folded tucked my ends over easy peasy one end I sealed closed so this end I'm gonna put some glue on so that it can stay closed so the recipient has one end to put their goodies in so I'm just gonna hold that shut that close really easy 
So I know that that end is the open end. Okay. And then take my little white piece of cardstock and one of my stickers. Oh, that's a pretty, that's pretty too. We'll do this one. Okay. White piece of card, my little piece of sticker, I stuck it on the edge. Okay. Because I, I'm mounting it on a dimensional. And all I did, yes, I did fussy cut all of those stickers out, but it did not take long, I promise you. Really easy. I just laid out like five of them at a time, cut them all out, added up dimensionals to the back, and was done. So that's done. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab me some pop dots. Let me just grab some over here. And these are going to go in the back. They add some dimension, obviously, because they're pop dots. But they just make it elevated just to another little level here. Instead of just adding the sticker to it. And then instead of just having it on a tag and it flopping around everywhere. So I added the dimension, dimensionals to the back. You know i got to add some glue to the back. This glue is my friend. And then I'm just going to add this to the pillow box. Make sure that that's on there. Get my last lonely little bow. Okay. Let's put this away. And then I took a piece of my little curly ribbon here. Just a little bit. It's so much on here. But so there's no measuring that I did that all out the way and then I just took the back of my scissors the back of my scissors and the back of the ribbon and gave it a light pull and I did that to both sides easy peasy and then I just decided how I wanted this to go now if you're cool with your glue gun you guys are friends you can actually like make little marks on your pillow box and then have strategic placing of your bow so you see I just put a little dot up there and I'm gonna put my ribbon right there I'm gonna add my bow right there but I want this to kind of curl around so so I'm going to first I'm gonna curl this a little tighter I'm gonna give this a little bit of a tighter curl Okay. And then I'm going to add a little glue. I added a dot of glue there and I'm just going to put my curly ribbon on top. That way I have like strategic placing. But you don't have to do that. You can just put your curly ribbon where you where your curly ribbon falls. And then I'm going to take my the backing off of this this bow and add some hot glue to the back. and place it in the corner there we go and there we have I'm gonna cut off this extra I don't need all of this curly ribbon and there we have our pillow box super cute feel free to add doily and ribbon and all that kind of stuff you just want to make sure that you leave in this open for the recipient to be able to put whatever they need to put in there in there right easy peasy so that's it guys for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and we'll try these be sure to check all the links in the description box below for the details that I mentioned in the video and I hope you guys like this episode number 10 and I will see you guys next time Talk to you later. Bye.